Hello there, great person. Today we're back with Malty Scared, and we will again tackle the question: Will Malty me get scared? I don't know, but after the last two episodes, I decided to go back to Frostmares to get really scared and to not watch those stupid ding dongs in costumes playing around. So, today we have Frostmares video, scary videos you cannot watch alone. Part 9. So, yeah, we had several of these and I liked all of them, and I think about at least half of them scared me, so I'm quite hopeful for this one. And without further ado, let's get into this and let's get scared with style. Let's put all our hopes into Frostmare TV. Good old Frostmare. Oh, good old Frostmare. What's that in my house? This TikTok was recorded by Averil RG, and in the description she states that she was home alone at the time, with her dog, and simply performing a dance outside of the family's residence. After uploading it to the platform, her viewers pointed out that there appears to be somebody inside the house though, or something. Let's see. Where? Why do they do the, the, this, this move? They always do this move. I don't know why they do that move. I don't know. Have you seen that? No, because I was Look distracted that by that stupid more. move. Oh yeah, hello. There's a... Uh, something falling down. A white sheet, perhaps? A weird white colored object is floating down from above, and then disappearing to the right. Is that glowy exactly warmy? Is it? Is that glowy warmy? Might have been glowy warmy. Good old friend glowy warmy. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It stops. You know, that's interesting. It stops midway. That's interesting. That's strange. Some comments suspect that it looks like a face. No, it does not look like a face. It looks like glowy warmy. So. Yeah, but that's strange. You see, this is strange. I like this video already more than the last two. I, I, I'm sorry for the, if I bash the last two. They are probably made by lovely people, but this is better. I don't know. And I have this is strange. Say, I do actually. See this is so strange. What, what is that? It's glowy warmy. We don't know what glowy warmy is yet. What that entity is, we don't know. See facial features as well. I think that's probably confirmation bias. Yeah, that's confirmation bias. You could what see you a face. Think? Just you could, a hoax? You could see a face there if you wanted to, but if you don't want to, I mean, you don't need... You know, it's just cognition. It's your cognition playing, uh, playing tricks on you. Sorry to say face. that. Or maybe something else. Before we proceed... Help nope. Since when is he sponsored by those ding dongs? Yeah, you can you can do that. I once played this shitty game. I did when I was when it just started popping up everywhere. I played it. it was horrible, horrible. If you want to play a good gacha game or something like that, that is a bit pay to win, but not really. Play Bleach Brave Souls. Great game. I like that game. I see you in battle. Yeah, no. Battle against the nightmare. Is Freddy a gonna come? Videos have been compiled and sent to me by Francesca Velantes. She told me that the man was documenting a really terrifying haunting that oh was no. taking place in his apartment. One night, he heard really odd knocking noises, which could not be explained. Oh man! This kept happening for several nights. He started filming, and eventually shared this footage online. No, 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 no! Don't go there. Oh man! This night, the noises seem to be stemming from his bathroom. Oh so no. So of course, Danny grabs his phone again and starts investigating. Why wouldn't he? Oh man, imagine it when... Imagine that did not close properly and there was something pressing against it. If there was something pressing against it that would be so bad. Oh man, this is eerie. Yeah, the angle. Oh, and the angle. 
No, please not the angle. Oh, why are you using the angle always? You. Ooh, Nothing man. That could be seen at the time. Yeah. Hmm. So he makes it back into bed and hopes for the best. But no, now it gets really terrifying for him. Was there, was there something there? Oh man, it's so scary. Oh god, is it still going? No. <laughs> yeah, that and got he me. Makes it out of there as fast as he can. Yeah, yeah, man, now, run! What are we looking at run! That's so strange. That got me, see? Scared already. My first thought was that this can't be real. Looks a bit like the, the thingy in the forest, though. You, you know the, the thing we've seen before where there are these shapes in the forest and someone pops, some of them, one of them pops up in front of the camera? Looked like that, but that was nicely done. Look at these eyes. I mean, the door going open and there was darkness. That was nice. That was so scary. Oh, yes, what are you? Demon? Probably just a film project. Hopefully. But if it was not, this is a really terrifying shadow apparition. Is it... Is it the same guy with the... with the grudge thingy that's living with the grudge thingy? Perhaps that is his first sighting of it. And you... I, I already told you, he probably saw it in his bed, and there it is, in his bed. It's living with him. It's his... his roommate now. He has accepted it. He has accepted the Kayako grudge thingy. Demon. In his house. And maybe it is demonic. Ooh, like some of man. his viewers stated oh. in the comments. Look at that. the way the hair interacts with the bedding. Looks pretty humanoid. Yeah, it's the grudge thingy from before. I think it's might be the same person. Ooh. This video was posted by 303 Paranormal TV and Rick has forwarded it to Really? Me. It says yes, that's good, supernatural you. energy outside and inside the Green Mountain Estates. And the description says that they came across a demon within this house. Oh great, it's another demon. Unsettling. Let's listen in a little bit. So the channel owner is on a paranormal investigation in this home with his team. Look at that. See that? Mm -hmm. I heard that too. I thought that was one of you it's, though. It's in this door. Like, Can we hear that door. again? Can you show yourself to my camera, please? And whatever, but at least he's polite, you know? He's polite. He's more of an expert than the, the, the two people from, from Mexico. I think it was Mexico, where they angered the grudge with Christian prayers. He's he's a bit more intelligent than them at least. But That's like good. That. So yeah. You'll see the ones that move. I've heard that. Like dust. You'll see the ones that move though. Like super thick. They're real. Twice? What was that? What was breathing? Look at that. See that? Mm -hmm. It went. I heard that too. I thought that was one of you though. It's in this door. Like behind the door. Can you show yourself to my camera, please? Yeah, I hear that there's a lot of... This door is that? That's where the growl behind the door. Yeah. Come it, say hi to me. It growled and it went... There's one time when my mom... That's her room. Or um, just shot right out this way. Oh, man. So they also appear to have a member with them that lives in that house or a family member of that person lives in that house. So I suppose her mom. And now they said it's apparently coming from this corridor. Yeah. All of a sudden I hear a man's voice you can see I'm shooting at me. Yeah. Wow! What is that? Hmm? What? Look at that. It's like a black something. Oh, yeah, then the rise. Digging around. From besides the corner. Is that no. an eye? No, it's not an eye. It's, it's. Oh, yeah, it's an eye. 
It's an eye. That, my friends, is definitely an eye. Gazing, peering, looking at, yeah, looking at us. Yep. Yeah. Yep. At first I thought it was the floating towel, but it was black this time, but no. What's the creepy demon thingy? Looks a bit like the one from the Easter Islands, the head. Well, if that is a legitimate capture... Yeah, this you could be demonic. If they don't have any explanation for that... Maybe there's more in this house than that meets the eye. Yeah, man. I would move. If you saw that move. Yeah, hello. And it's floating away, you know? Oh, nothing. Another thingy peeking. What's with the peekers today? Peaky peekers. This video was posted by Will Dobson. And he thinks that after noticing that something was wrong with his door because it just started moving and opening on its own, that he captured a shadow. Yeah, th there seems to be something dark for sure, but it's really hard to say. Is it a shadow? Well, he also says that he found out that the place he's living in currently, in the 1920s, apparently was a school, and then it had been transformed into a hospital. So, a lot of history going into that place. First we see it there. It just got a this bit darker. Was a lonely woman who also was wearing a white dress and catching the man's attention. It's not a real ghost lady. What are you doing? Don't charge her. Don't poke her. He's got a stick. He's got a stick. He's literally gonna poke it. They followed her over the graveyard until she disappeared into the darkness, not to be seen again. Why would you follow her? Why do you? What are you doing on a graveyard poking the grudge? Oh man, that's so messed up. Seemingly joking. I bet these guys would have reacted differently would they have come across the woman by themselves. That poor woman. Looks like she's drunk. Oh, I really hope she's okay. That was a real woman and she was drunk. And she was, I think she was vomiting in or two. I don't know where she was vomiting, but somewhere in the corner there. And she was, I think she was sick. And, and she, she was, she was um, not walking steadily. So I think she was, she was drunk. So yeah, if you don't get drunk and go through a city and don't go across a graveyard and you know be careful be careful careful man and woman of course whoever's watching be careful they should have helped her they should have called the cops and helped her because she she needed to go to the perhaps she needed the ambulance she i mean she was crawling on the ground because she was i think she was puking you know that was not not a ghost or anything and yeah, it, it was it was eerie and it almost got me, but when I, because I thought it was, you know, an entity or so, but when I realized it was a woman, I was just feeling sorry for her. And I'm, I really hope she got better. This TikTok series was recorded by Camilo Pugliato. He was quarantined in an hotel for a couple of days in April, and he started to hear some really odd noises in the middle of the night. And there were also smells that weren't mm. really pleasant, to say the least. To make it all a bit more eerie, he seemed to be the only guest. Weird, isn't it? Let's check it out. What is he doing? 
What is he doing? Okay, system. Dale enfoque, 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 enfoca. Ahí está. Puta que asco. Oh man. Bueno, no tiene ni idea cómo huele esto. Oh, uh, why would you go up there? Camilo decided to check this place out a bit more thorough because he actually couldn't believe that this room was empty because the noises were really loud. Mate, you're going into the room of another person that's staying there. What are you doing? What's wrong with some of these people, man? So what gives? And where did the strong odor originate from? None of your business, man. What are you doing, man? That's someone's room, you a-hole. In the end, he wasn't really sure what was causing all of this. And he conclude. What was causing all of this? There was someone living there, you Richard a-hole. What's with these people in this video? He's such a Richard. You can't break into... So he, I think perhaps I got it wrong. Then I'm sorry. But the way I see it is he climbed through the window into the room that man what an Oops, what an idiot try to move out of the hotel soon and at that moment we can see something weird in the background is it paranormal it's probably a scared man because someone is inside his room yeah, I should go out of this room that is not mine. Yeah, I mean, it's, pro a closer look. <laughs> it's probably a person hiding in there, being afraid because some dingdongs are inside his room or her room. Look makes us realize what that there is a shadow moving out of that closet. Is it related to everything going on here? Okay, yeah, it's a small shadow, but I don't know. Might have been the light. Of course, we have to acknowledge that it is a bit suspicious. The way the camera is angled, straight to the closet. Yeah. What a coincidence, right? Yeah. But on the other hand, it's also a pretty odd occurrence to come across an empty hotel. What do you guys think? How would you know it's an empty hotel? I'm no. sorry. When another bunch of friends pass by a local graveyard next to a chapel, they capture this recording of an eerie woman in a white dress standing on the sidewalk. Oh. Hello. Why are they so rude? I don't get these people. I mean, why would you not stop? If that's the bride and she got left? I don't know. She might be depressed. You should help people. That you see, what are these people doing in this video? They are such egocentric people. I mean, yeah, you can post it as a ghost video, but that might be just a woman being out of her luck. The same, same as the graveyard, you know, that's, that's not paranormal, that's just you being a Richard and not helping your, your, your next of kin, whatever, I don't know how you call it. Yeah. But it gets worse. After passing by, the cameraman notices a strange noise behind him and captures this. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, okay, that got me. A bit. I'll be nice. I'll say that got me. Because the past two episodes weren't so good, so... And yeah, it, it kind of got me, because that, that is a scary scene. Imagine that. So it was some scene. I don't know. Let's recap.
so we had some good stuff today. So this was a uh, glowy wormy. I don't know why it was there. I think looked a bit like glowy wormy. Wasn't that warm shaped, but still looked a bit the same. Yeah, and she was dancing, and I still don't know why you do this. I don't know why you do this in a dance. I don't know. I dance much. Um. Yeah, I mean dance. See, my German slipped out there. So we had raid. We don't like it. We know we don't like raid. At least my German does not slip out when I'm angry and cursing things. So, yeah. <laughs> That's good. So, yeah, this was eerie. I like this one. This was very, very well done. I think it's fake as well as the grudge thingy in the bathroom was. <laughs> But yeah, it was, was done nicely done. I mean, the door popping open, the darkness being there, that was perfect. I loved that. The, the, the things before, the location, the, the way he moved the camera through the rooms. And then the thing popping up there, looking at him, that was so well done. That got me, that caught me. Got, did not get me as bad as the ghost woman did the video where it showed the bathroom, you know, but... Was a nice one. This was a nice one. This one, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It was a peaky thing, something peeking around the corner. Looked strange. Looked eerie. Might have been CGI because it moved so weirdly. But then again, that might make it legit. I don't know. I don't know. I tend to say it's CGI, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. And it did not scare me because I did not really see it. Again, I, I didn't see it the first time, the second time I didn't see it, and it wasn't scary enough to really scare me then, the third time, you know? But it was a nice, nice attempt, nice video, nice background story. Yeah, so this was... I didn't even see it. It got a bit darker here, but it didn't go fully dark, you know? So I don't know what this was. I don't know what this was. Yeah, this one was... Yeah, man, I hope she's okay. This was real. This was real, 100% 100 real. And this was just a drunk woman and they did not help her. They ran, ran at her with sticks. They were being Richards. They were being real Richards. And he was being a Richard too. I don't know why he... So it might, he might have... He might have thought that was abandoned. He might have gone inside because it looked so used. Might have even been his own room, you know. Might have been staged or faked or whatever, but this was... He was being Richard. He was being such a Richard. And yeah, they were doing... They were doing the same here in the next one. They were being Richards too. They were being Richards too, these people here with the... So this was... This was something where I thought to myself, okay, that was a woman in a bride's dress that was obviously left behind there by her fiancé, something like that. She was in a bad place and they ignored her. So I thought they were Richards. And they were Richards because they laughed at her. And then it turns out she was sitting, well, not, not her, but something was sitting behind them that looked like the grudge a bit or an unreal ghost thingy. And that yeah, that got me. That that that's that's strange because I did not expect it, and it did not got got me really badly. I wasn't scared that badly, but it in a moment it flickered up, you know, and I was a bit scared. So I count this. So I was mildly scared. I was I was mildly scared, but almost not, you know. But yeah, and this was fake because it looked too set up, it looked to be a set up. They were driving, and then the the woman, and then suddenly it's behind them, oh yeah. And then it cuts to black, and somehow it gets uploaded, and yeah, I don't know. That did not make sense. You know, that's something that you have to think about. If you, if you would want to make a hoax video, if you would plan on doing that, why not end it in a way that you don't ask yourself, how did they upload this? Did it get them? What happened next? You know? Don't do that. It's hard sometimes to do that, you know? It's really hard. And in some situations you have to be a bit creative, you know, 
because I, I know this from some horror stories of mine that I wrote where I, I always do it like a report, something like that, something that someone found or whatever. It has to be real in a way that you have to believe that someone actually found it and it wasn't like, oh yeah, and then the monster is standing behind me and oh, it's going to get me and now, oh, oh it, it's, it's stabbing me, it, it, it gets me, oh yeah, yeah, oh no, I, I, I'm sorry, bye bye. You know, if you read this, this is unrealistic and I don't like it. And it's the same way in these clips. You know, you have to get your ending straight and you have to get it straight regardless of whether your story is good or not. But anyway, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, yeah Frostmare did, did not disappoint us. I, I, I'm a great Frostmare fan and I'm glad that we watched this one because the last two were, they were, they were kind of bad. They were advertisements for this stupid channel. I mean, the channel might be fun, but... I don't know. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, that was that for today. I hope you have a very nice, happy, scary day. And remember, don't poke the entities or ghosts or don't poke people that are drunk. Why would you do that? I don't know. Anyway, take care of yourself. You have a happy, lovely day and see you soon. Bye.